What's up YouTube? This is a Hackberry Pi, a handheld cyber deck with a Blackberry keyboard. It comes with a Raspberry Pi as the brain, a fully customizable keyboard, a 4 inch 720 TFT screen and 3 USB 2.0 ports to make this a cool learning tool and a fun toy for hackers. Today we're going to dive into what made me buy this handheld and how and who benefits from using it. This is the unboxing gadget. Let's dive in and explore. Alright, so here it is, the Hackberry Pi. Now before we dive into the nitty gritty and taking a look at the actual device, let's check out and see what this officially is and who designed it. Now the Hackberry Pi was a device designed by Zyteo Tech. They have some pretty cool products and they do some pretty cool things. One of their main selling points is a detachable Blackberry keyboard and they create these from existing Blackberries which is pretty cool. So it allows you to create your, say, iPhone to a Blackberry keyboard to give you that physical typing touch that, you know, back in the day we used to love. And also if you take a look at their site, you can see at the bottom they do have Hackberry Pies. Now the Hackberry Pies are sold out. but if you do join their Discord, they do a great job of announcing stock updates and new releases, so make sure you join the Discord. And I do want to preference by saying they are located in Germany, so if you're in the US or anywhere else in the world besides Germany, just make sure you get your time right because I've had it happen to me multiple times where I wake up and my time would be off or I would be off by a few hours, so just make sure you track the time, track the Germany time, and you should be good to go to catch a restart. Okay, so. Now we have an idea of what the Hackberry Pi is and a little history around it. Now let's take a look at the main features in the block diagram of how all this comes together. Now the Hackberry is ran with the Raspberry Pi Zero 2W. If you've seen my BP video, that device also uses a Raspberry Pi Zero, so the Raspberry Pi is pretty versatile. And if we take a look at the screen, it's a 720 TFT display, which is pretty good for this device. Honestly, I have no issues using it in low light or outside, so it's pretty good. And if we take a look at the battery situation, they have two dual battery slots for Nokia BL5C batteries. Now, I haven't seen these type of batteries in a while, so it's an interesting choice that they chose these batteries for this device. But I have no qualms or anything about the device because it, it, it lasts pretty good. And the charging is, I think, three hours for full charge on this device, which is pretty good. Now, main attraction is the keyboard, and I optioned for the Q20 keyboard. Now, there are a few other options like the 9, 900 keyboard and the Q10, but I like the Q20 keyboard the best. Now, all the options are great Blackberry keyboards, so any choice you honestly can't go wrong with. And if we take a look at the ports, I am so glad they extended the ports for the device. So we have three USB 2.0 ports and a Type-C port for charging, which is awesome. And according to the documentation, like I said, three hours to get this thing charged up, which is pretty awesome. And then lastly, we have a stem port and TF card slot. Now the stemma port, I'm probably not going to use for my use. I'm probably not going to use that port, So, but you do have it. So there it is. The block diagram and kind of explaining what's going on with our Hackberry. Okay, so let's move on to the setup and the OS. Now the Hackberry documentation lets you choose a multitude of OSs, but for this setup I chose a Raspberry Pi OS just to make it simpler. I do plan to load RetroPie on this device just to have a little fun with it, but for right now, I just have the normal Raspberry Pi. Okay, so before we set up, let's quickly go over how to turn on the device because it's actually kind of important. So if you check on the device, there's two buttons. Well, there's a switch and a button. Now, the first button is the off and on button, which of course will turn on the device. And the second button is the screen button, power for the USB hub controller, which otherwise powers the keyboard. So you can have the screen on, but no keyboard, or you can have the screen and the keyboard on. So this switch makes it sure so you can have the screen and the keyboard on at the same time. So that's just a note when you're working with the Hackberry Pi. Let's install an OS. Now, I chose a Raspberry Pi OS just to keep it simple for right now, but you can choose a multitude of OSs like I mentioned. So make sure you download the Raspberry Pi Imager. And once you have that installed, make sure you have your micro SD card plugged into your computer so the Imager can read your micro SD card so you can install the OS. Now for this Raspberry Pi setup, I didn't use any custom settings or anything like that. I just used the default one. So if you want more custom settings and how to get everything like customized, this might not be the video for you. I'm just using the default for right now. Okay, so we got the Raspberry Pi OS installed on our device. Now, there are a few other things you need to do in order to get the screen to boot up. Now, if you go to the page and the documentation, they do mention you have to make a change to the boot config file in order to get the screen to come up. And that example of the config file is right here on the screen. Now, after you get the config file set up, there are a few other steps you have to follow. 
get to insert the TF card into the slot, turn on the Hackberry Pi, wait until the white LED on the top stops blinking, turn off the Hackberry Pi, and reboot. And then bam, hopefully the screen comes on after that, and you should be good to go. At this point, our Hackberry should be on and running. Now, the final thing is, what can it do? Well, with your Hackberry, you can do a lot of things. You can install your favorite version of Linux. Um, you can do penetration testing, ethical hacking. I mean, you can just have your own version of Linux. I mean, there's so much you can do um, with Linux on this device. So having that in the screen is great. You can also install RetroPie. You can play games on it, which is probably what I'm gonna do. I'm probably definitely gonna download RetroPie and have that in my arsenal. There's also an OS called DietPie, which you can download on your Hackberry. So, I mean, there's so many different options and things you can do in your Hackberry. It's a pretty cool device. Drop a comment below and let me know what's your use case. Are you just gonna use it for normal everyday functions? Are you gonna play games on it? Drop a comment below and let me know. So my final thoughts on the Hackberry Pi. Do I recommend it? Yes. I think it's a pretty awesome device with the screen, paired with the BlackBerry keyboard, paired with the different IO ports on the device. I think it's a go. Of course, it takes a little bit of setup to get everything up and running. But once you get it set up, I think you have a mini computer which you can take with you on the go or just play games on. So if you do decide to catch one of the restocks, I think you'll love the device. And I think it'd be one of those devices you keep in your arsenal, at least for a little while. This is the Unboxing Gadget. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.